Um, it's an interesting dynamic because um, it's a relationship we've had for over 30 years. Obviously, uh, me being the spokesperson for his lyrics uh, is an intimate and difficult relationship just in the sense that you're right, I have to really believe in what I'm singing because if I don't, you can tell, you know, uh, you can't fake something like that. Um, so for me, I have to try to get into his headspace. I have to try to understand the lyrics from a point of view that's meaningful to me, even if it's not always the same as the writer's intent. Uh, more often than not, it is the same and we do agree on, on the statement he wants to make through those lyrics, but occasionally I'll have my own reading of what he's written, and it'll mean a lot to me, and I'll, I'll sing it from that perspective. I, unfortunately for him, I change it quite a lot. <laughs> um, it, and it really depends song to song. For example, on, uh, on the latest album, there's a song called The Garden, uh, and a song called Wish Them Well. Those two songs I hardly changed. Uh, there are certain words, of course, that sometimes when you're singing them sound awkward. They look great on paper, but they sound awkward. So sometimes you change it for a reason of pure uh, finding a word that's more pleasing to the ear or a word that allows you to express your emotions uh, vocally in a better sense. Uh, sometimes a word looks great but is stilted when it's sung uh, or sounds muffled when it's sung, you know, uh, and you don't know that until you're actually doing the vocal. But other times when Neil writes, he writes quite a lot and because it's all sort of an experimental stage and Alex and I are writing music and I'm trying to find places where the lyric and the music can meet in a satisfying way. So sometimes there'll be maybe a, a, a song with five stanzas on it. Maybe out of those five stanzas I'll find four lines from those, four dif from those different stanzas and I'll bring them together to create a new stanza that really expresses what I think the song needs to express. I'll play it for him and if he likes that, then he'll take that back and he'll restructure according to that kind of uh, the way those, that new stanza is pointing. So uh, he's great to work with because he's completely without ego and uh, he's very understanding of how difficult it is to put feeling into lyrics that may not feel right for me, so he gives me huge amount of latitude to play with his lyrics and we kind of bounce back and forth. And then the producer will come in with his two cents worth too, so it's a tough job being a lyricist and uh, he's, he's probably the, the best one to work with in that regard because of the fact he's, he's quite happy just to have written it, whether it's used or not.